Hey guys, and welcome back to Space Nerd Confessions. I'm Cynthia, and today I'm going to be talking about space training. Uh, so a lot of you have been asking about the space training and what it's encompassed of and how difficult it is. So I'm going to briefly go over um, what it looks like. Uh, so what I went through was OUST or Officer Undergraduate Space Training, and that's for the Space Operations Career Field or uh, otherwise known as a 13S, 13 Sierra. Um, on the enlisted side, it's very similar in regards to the syllabus. It's the EUST, the Enlisted Undergraduate Space Training, and that's for the One Charlie Six. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of background before going into the nitty gritty of the tech school. Um, just because it's a little confusing with the new stand up for the Space Force. Sometimes I get confused with the details. But anyway, um, the Space Operations Career Field on both the enlisted and officer side used to fall under the Air Force. Um, but now with the new, the new Space Force, uh, those career fields are the core career fields of the Space Force. So what this means is that majority of um, the people who chose to transfer to the Space Force has already done so, but there are still some folks that are the One Charlie Six or the 13 Sierra um, that are still in the Air Force, um, either still working on transferring into the Space Force or they chose not to transfer over, um, but they were given the opportunity to cross train into a different career field into the Air Force. Also, I've had some people ask about Space Force recruiting. Um, I did reach out to one of my friends who is an Air Force recruiter and ask him a few questions. Um, I did an interview recently um, with a radio podcast where I did discuss some of the details of that um, discussion with my recruiter. Um, I'll post that video following this video. Um, so if there's any questions that you have in regards to the Space Force, the podcast also covers some other random questions that people had. Um, and then probably later on, uh, when I get a little bit more detail or more information, I will post a video on here um, with a little bit of details, um, kind of updates on what Space Force recruiting does look like. All right, and one last thing, um, in regards to the space training, it is a very fluid process. So um, it's always changing because whether it's new capabilities or just new ways of training, or even just a new flow of training, um, they're always updating the curriculum, which is awesome and which is a good thing. Um, so it's just my experience may be a little bit different than yours. However, the main topics of discussion um, or, you know, throughout your lessons in the syllabus should be pretty similar to um, what, I, uh, what I recently experienced. All right, here we go. All right, so uh, oh, I love talking about this. Okay, um, OUST or EUST is at Vandenberg Air Force Base in Central California. Um, yes, the area is amazing, uh, right by the beach. But uh, it's about five months long and it's typical like office hours, Monday through Friday, mm, eight to four, mm, plus or minus 30 minutes. Um, and it's comprised of multiple phases and blocks to kind of divide up and organize um, the lessons in time that you're there. Okay, so I may have fibbed. There are a few days that you may stay a little bit later um, if you and your class do decide to study for an upcoming test. Um, there are a variety of different ways that they do test your knowledge, which I really like. Um, but I also heard that they may be changing um, this also. But when I went through, um, they tested you by doing multiple choice tests, short answer tests. Uh, there was like briefings and debriefings. We also did scenarios and check rides. And in order to kind of move on to the next block and then move on to the next phase, um, you were needing to pass each of these knowledge tests uh, by a 75% um, or higher. All right, so for the first phase of the training, um, kind of gives you like a war fighting context um, of space. So here it's kind of, you'll start with like an orientation period of time where you guys get to know each other as a class. Um, and kind of introduced into the space training um, tech school. And then you'll also learn into kind of security fundamentals. So just um, how to be safe with the information that you get. And then also you learn a little bit more about your career field. So they kind of um, explain like the space operations career field and there's um, like a web of different directions you can kind of go in the career field and that's also introduced. In this phase, you'll also kind of go more into the space uh, domain guidance. And here you'll learn about um, space 
um, heritage, in space law, um, policy and strategy, and space doctrine. And yeah, it sounds a little bit rough because um, it kind of is very black and white, um, but it's actually really interesting um, comparing where we came from and how we started and um, the potential that we have in the future. All right, and the first phase also goes into what the U.S. space enterprise looks like, um, the DO Department of Defense um, space and um, who is involved. So talk about all of our partnerships, whether it's with um, civil or commercial or coalition partners. Um, it's really awesome learning about how big the um, DOD uh, space um, partnership looks like and what the Space Force and the, or the Space Operations Career Field um, has potential of working with. And I did want to note that in regards to the partnerships uh, piece is that um, not only are we working with people outside of the um, military or outside the Space Force and Air Force, but we do also have partnerships within different career fields in the Air Force, so such as different intelligence um, career fields and weather is another current field that we work with, but we kind of learn about um, what kind of partnerships we do have internally um, in the Air Force and uh, Space Force. All right, and for the next phase, um, I absolutely loved it because it was extra nerdy. Um, but one block we focused on electricity and magnetism. So we learned about um, fields and radiation, um, electromagnetic um, fundamentals, um, we worked with electricity and circuitry also. We continued our nerdiness um, into uh, the orbital mechanics discussion, which is, man, that was probably the most difficult part for me, um, but I really did enjoy it. It was just kind of understanding the concept, um, but we learned about the orbital um, fundamentals and uh, movements, and then we learned about maneuver fundamentals. Also in this phase, uh, we learned a little bit more about the operational environment, um, which is kind of the upper atmosphere and um, space. So we learn about kind of space weather, which is, you know, solar weather. Um, and then we learn about terrestrial weather. So weather in the upper atmosphere or anything that could um, have effect in the space environment. Another phase in space training that we had um, focused on space principles and technology. And we've learned a little bit about um, like radio frequency technology, uh, signals, links, and electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetic interference. We continued our nerdiness um, where we started to learn about remote sensing, um, where we learned about different optics and radars. Um, we also learned about space technology, um, which was one of the most fun uh, ones that I uh, enjoyed. And that's where we learned about um, rocket fundamentals, satellite subsystems, satellite command and control, and um, the life cycle of a satellite. All right, only two more phases to talk about. They're really quick. Um, for one phase, we kind of specifically uh, stick to like capabilities. So we learn about um, our capabilities as far as uh, space lift and range, uh, missile warning and defense, um, environmental monitoring, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, and uh, space domain awareness. Uh, we also learn a little bit about um, cyberspace operations also. And finally, the course concludes with um, discussions on joint planning, um, kind of additional discussion on movements and maneuvers, and finally with uh, more discussion on space battle management. And that's it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like a whole lot, um, but it is, but it's manageable. Um, I really enjoyed the course. Uh, they just recently rewrote it in October of 2019, so I was able to go through the new course. Um, but when I did um, finish up the course, they said that they're currently working on a rewrite, so I'm not 100% sure when that's going to be um, implemented, but it's mainly, I think, triggering or focusing on um, the flow of the course. So there's probably gonna be, you know, a little bit updates, um, but like I said, if it should be um, a lot of the same topics. 
Well, that is a wrap. Um, thank you for watching my video. Like I said, I will add some links below um, that may help you do a little bit um, further research on some of the topics that I talked about today. And if you have any topics of interest that you would like for me to talk about in the future, um, please comment them below. And of course, subscribe for my channel to get any updates or um, notifications of uh, new videos that I have posted. And uh, you can also find me on Instagram, which my uh, handle is below. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.